Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Knasty3890 with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. There's a bunch of new stuff that dropped out today. It's Saturday. There are two new legends. Um, it's a Donovan McNabb and a Ted Hendricks. Those are okay cards. I mean, the McNabb actually looks really good, but I really don't want the McNabb. He always has a slow release, which kills me. But if you're a big Eagles fan, Redskins fan, I think he might have played for another team. I can't remember. If he did, drop, let me know in the comments. I'm going to play for a third team. Um, If you want to pick them from like your all-whatever teams, go ahead and do it. The Hendricks is a linebacker. For the uh, Oakland Raiders back in the 80s. Very solid card. Really good 3-4 player. He's huge. He's like 6-7. Anyway, there's a, but they came out with new uh, solos for elite chems. And also a lot of new cards. Like alternate chemistry cards, which I'll go over in a second. So real quick, um, if you go to chemistry here, you are going to get... I mean, you already have all these. Now, these are actually tough. Like Even like these base ones here. Because you're like... You're losing by a lot in all of these. This when you're down 17 to nothing to start the second half, and you don't have ball. And you are using base chemistry cards, which means they're not that good. They're like bronze, so, I mean, uh, silver, gold, or maybe a few elites. So it, it makes it difficult. I haven't got to any of these scheme ones yet, and now you have all these elite ones. Now, when, when all these elite ones dropped, all these came up with tier twos for all these. Like, Deep Threat did not have a tier two, and I'll show you guys the effect of it in a second. So there's 22 solos, 11 offensive, 11 defensive. The 11 offensive ones, you do those, you can get a um, Antonio Brown, 93 overall. Defense, you get a Jadavion Clowney, right outside linebacker with 87 speed. So both cards look beastly, so I'm going to try to definitely get that done. Now, you only can see the second chemistry, or tier 2, excuse me, once you have it, at, and once you have it unlocked, tier 1, excuse me. So you can see right here, deep threat, I have tier 2. I have Randy Moss... Derek Carr, Herman Moore, and Mike Evans, all deep threat. You can see it does a plus one. The tier two does a plus one of acceleration, throw power, jumping, and throw deep. Randy Moss becomes a 94. Mike Evans becomes an 86. Derek Carr is normally 85 and 86. Herman Moore under tier one is a 91. So if you want to get your Randy Moss to a 94, and you only have the base legend, not the 48-hour legend, that's how you can do it. Um, as you can see, if I put Brady back in, <clears throat> excuse me, he will go down to a... 93 and Mike Evans will be an 85. So that's th what that does. As you can see, all these other chemistries, like even like the Dallas chemistry, has a second tier Green Bay offense, New England offense. So it really pains you guys to get some of these elite cards that have these chemistries that you need for these solos or even the coaches. Now, as of right now, that none of them are saying like you need one offensive and one defensive to do a solo, like the dual chemistries from last year. They might come out that way eventually. I think they probably will based off the coaches do have a plus one to offense and a plus one to defensive chemistry. But just to keep that in mind, guys. Now, they did come up with alternate chemistry cards as well. And what that is, just normal cards came out the exact same card stat-wise, but different chemistries. Some gold and some elite. So first off, let's take a look at gold TJ Ward. And guys, you can make some coins off this too. Um, if people don't realize that their version is the expensive version. I think I just did. Oh, it changed chemistry on me. It said FG, then it said Denver. Whatever. Add it for badges. Um, you gotta be careful with that because sometimes this does delay. See, it's it may say FG right there, but when you look on it, it says Denver. So be careful with that because I just got burned on it. But you can see FG goes for like ten thousand coins. You see in the bottom left part of the card, it says Alternate Chemistry. The stats are the same in the other one, but it comes out with Field General Chemistry, which you guys will need for these solos. So if you're kind of low on coins, go get yourself a gold card that's a little it's not going to play as well as an elite most likely i mean sometimes gold cards are better than elites but you know what i'm saying it's like you're low on cards now this does have, i mean low on coins this does affect elites as well um there's an andrew whitworth i know for a fact has it so these only came out today i don't believe it changed pre-existing cards so if you pull like an elite or pull some of these gold cards be on the lookout that they will have a change overall season. Whitworth now has a deep threat. Look how much it's going for, guys. Definitely, if you can find, if you can pull that, you did good today. I mean, I think in a few days these will go down. But or if you see someone put up the vert version, you can get this deep threat one for like 64k. You can get the vert one for 11k. So just be on the lookout, guys. Um, so get those solos done. You get really good rewards, and those are needed for that 95 Josh Norman as well. So. I'm not going to do any packs today just because the fact I really don't love those legend cards. They're not going to probably play on my team. Even though I do need a new quarterback, the 88 Brady. 
I need to hire. I need that 91 Bree in my life. But that's neither here nor there. But I will be working on these souls. Maybe I'll even stream it sometime this weekend. Be on the lookout for that. If you do want to see a stream, let me know in the comments. If you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you all later. Take it easy. Peace.